this and then I'm addressing, supposed to be addressing uh, parents, uh, teachers and students. So the idea is like, uh, they're all, you're, you're all either a parent, a teacher or a student. Okay. Okay. <coughs> uh, are you going to give me a countdown or are you already started? Have you already started? <laughs> okay. uh, Alright, uh, welcome everyone, teachers, parents and students. Uh, as you all know that there is a disease spreading around called LNS, Leaky you Nose know, Syndrome. So, uh, the, we are going to be doing our best to uh, make sure that our students' welfare is taken care of and also that uh, they do not miss out on their studies if possible. So, what I'm going to talk about today is what is the disease exactly, as what we know about the disease, uh, what we are going to do to contain it, and lastly, what we're going to do if containment fails. Right? So, three points. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what is LNS. Now, LNS, as much as we know, only causes sinus congestion. So uh, uh, the, the disease is airborne, so it spreads by close proximity and exposed orifices. By orifices, are referring to nose, mouth, eyes, and ears. So uh, and for those people with strong immune system, all that they're going to suffer from is a runny nose. Uh, for those who are, have weaker, immune systems that are going to suffer from things like headaches and breathing problems. So this will cause discomfort as well as it will affect their ability to learn and their well-being. So what are we going to do for containment? We are going to allow the students to choose between staying at home or coming to school. If they stay at home, they need to provide with us a doctor's note. We will not allow any parents' letters. And the doctor's note can be given to us when they return to school. If they choose to come to school, then they have to have masks on at all times. It does not have to be N95 masks, the simple surgical mask will do. And uh, what we want is for them to bring their own cutlery. Because we do not want them to use this, uh, the common cutlery in the canteen because it would spread faster that way. So if containment, containment fails, we are going to go straight into evacuation and immediate school suspension. Uh, the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Health have both agreed that we will leave this to the principal's uh, discretion, my discretion. So, uh, the definition of containment failure <coughs> is that we have reached 25% uh, or higher of your student, of the student population having LNS. So, and we are going to round this number upwards. So, there will be, once the alarm is sounded and we call for evacuation, there will be no administrative procedures. Staff and students will all leave at the same time and the security guards will lock up the school after that. You will have one hour to evacuate after we have sounded the alarm. Thereafter, uh, at 3 p.m. every day, we will let you know when, uh, whether or not there will be school the next day. The reason that we pick the time 3 p.m. is uh, enough time for us to assess the situation and enough time for you to get uh, yourselves ready for the school day the next day. Uh, please, when, uh, for, when we notify that there is school the next day, please uh, respond online. Otherwise, our teachers will have to call each and every one of you to make sure that you know that there is school the next day. So that's all I have for, uh, for you for this briefing. Uh, again, we talked about what is LNS, uh, how we are going to contain it, and what we're going to do in the event of uh, containment failure. So thank you all for coming for this briefing and have a good day.